Hey everybody, really happy to be at Ashland, uh, the Henry Clay Estate here in Lexington, Kentucky. And you know, we were at Richmond the other day. What's up with Virginia? Always trying to steal names, you know, from the Commonwealth of Kentucky. We got Lexington, we got Richmond, and uh, you know, I think I think we're sick and tired of Virginia always trying to claim so much, you know. Now Virginia might have done it first, so maybe we can have some fun with that. But here we are on the Clay Estate, okay? But before we talk about that, let's talk about a little Civil War fight that's gonna take place here. We're talking about October 18th, 1862. That's 10 days after the Battle of Perryville. And after Perryville, the Southerners are really just trying to get back down into Tennessee to safety and reform and make some new plans. But that's not stopping John Hunt Morgan, along with Basil Duke, you know, from trying to really throw the Union Army off, slow the pursuit, collect even more supplies if they can. And uh, around on the 16th or 17th, Morgan gets word that there's some Ohio cavalry here, 3rd Cavalry, 4th Cavalry off the top of my head here, and they're in this very vicinity here. Well, Morgan and Duke sort of, I think he's, they split up into two groups, and they're going to come at the Union camp um, with sort of a, two different prongs at right, at right angles and fall upon this Union camp. It's not going to go well uh, for the Union soldiers. Uh, the Confederates largely, I think, dismount. They bring some cannons to the fight. I think they have about five times more soldiers. The Union has 300 soldiers and the more than a thousand Confederates fall upon them. And to say it goes well for the Confederates is an understatement. Uh, I believe the Union regiments for the soldiers here suffer 100% casualties, largely captured, but also with some killed and wounded in there as well. So the Southerners uh, capture a lot of the Union soldiers, parole them here somewhere on the estate. John Hunt Morgan continues on, throws some cannonballs toward Lexington, toward the courthouse or something like that, and is going to help with the Confederate retrograde movement back toward Tennessee. And you know, while you're here, you know, it's not just the fight. Uh, right off in the distance, you might c catch some glimpses of Ashland, the Henry Clay estate. Uh, this is a pre-war structure, and even before the war, uh, Henry Clay's son had actually changed it and ch changed it closer to its current appearance here. You can go and check out and learn about Clay, his relationship or Lincoln's admiration of Clay while you're in Lexington. And by the way, a great place to base yourself to sort of see some of the major Civil War Kentucky sites. So when you're going to some of the places that we're seeing, if you're around this area, you can also see the uh, Mary Todd Lincoln home in the 1830s. She lived there. You can, you know, interpret that family. Again, we're in Kentucky. We're in a slaveholding state. Um, you know, so there's some real, um, you know, issues to explore with that. You can also go to the Hunt Morgan house where you can learn about John Hunt Morgan and that whole family um, uh, and, and whatnot. Uh, you can uh, see all sorts of other great things in Lexington, maybe drink some bourbon if you're old enough and if it's cool um, while you're here. And then you can go to the Lexington Cemetery and this is a place where it all really comes together. You'll see, um, you know, some of the, the members of the Todds. You'll see the Morgans. You'll see the Hunts. You'll see an unbelievably beautiful cemetery. And if you can see any of these sites, but especially the cemetery with the excellent Kent Masterson Brown, please try to arrange it. His cemetery tours of Lexington Cemetery are not to be missed. Incredible experiences that really get at that sort of brother against brother, divided Kentucky sort of situation. So come here, check out Ashland, check out all the great things that Lexington has to offer as part of your larger trip as you check out a lot of the places we've been going to Richmond and Camp Wildcat and to uh, uh, Perryville and all the other ones that I'm forgetting at this point, Munfordville and whatnot. Now, we have on our website at battlefields.org um, itineraries to help you see all these places. So go check out battlefields.org. Just look for itineraries. You'll see it. There's not a whole lot of Civil War itineraries for the state of Kentucky. So do that. Uh, let us know what questions you have. Well, hit, hit us with your comments. And thank you for supporting Battlefield Preservation.